The traditional model, right, hundreds right, of years yeah. ago was this design build model, right? right. The, the architect was that master builder. But as architecture became a profession, you really had contractor, architect, and owner, that triangle. And so the AIA agreements are generally really set up for that. And people sort of, I think, in some broad way, believe in that sort of uh, check and balance of right. architect and contractor. I mean, I think from our experience, I, I don't think it functions that way, way that well. I think you end up with a lot of politics where, mm -hmm. you know, the contractor wants to be careful what they say and the architect needs to be very careful what they say. And so you end up, I think, not having the most clear, best conversations to get to um, the best piece of architecture um, in the most honestly cost-effective and and just best way. Yeah. But, but some people still, it's hard to convince everybody of that. Our best clients, I think, are the people who have built previously in the traditional. <laughs> and they that, know the headache. <laughs> yeah, they know, and right, that, that the owner so often gets caught in the middle. Yeah. And, and they really appreciate that, hey, you guys are gonna take responsibility for everything. So we're taking responsibility for it, sure, aesthetically, uh, financially, and practically, right, that it's, if there's a leak, if there's a problem, well, it's our problem. Right. Yeah. Right.